Uh, dear ministers, uh, dear Secretary General, dear Vice President of the European Investment uh, Bank, uh, Excellencies and ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would need more of that. Yeah. I'm honored to be here again in Barcelona speaking on behalf of the European Commission. This is my third visit in three years and I'm glad to see that the vision and the hopes that we had three years uh, ago are now turning uh, into concrete projects. Dear ministers, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the launch of the Logismat project is significant in three ways. First, it is part and parcel of the ambitious vision of creating a trans-Mediterranean transport network. The network is a shared objective for the European Union and our neighbors, and one which we have been supporting with important resources over the past years. The second reason why the project is significant uh, is because logistics are the backbone of national and international trade. And we have an ambitious trade agenda with our partners. We have proposed deep and comprehensive free trade areas with a number of partners, including Egypt, Jordan, Morocco, and Tunisia. The negotiations have already started with Morocco, and we aim to start with Tunisia in a short term. These agreements will allow increased opportunities for our business. To take advantage of these opportunities, a modern and efficient logistics sector is important. Improving the performance of the logistics sectors is an integral part of competitiveness and a key factor for attracting investment. The ability of suppliers to respond quickly to changing requirements are of major importance for competitiveness. This is evident in a sector such as clothing, where fashion is changing fast and requires flexible production and trade channels. A weak logistics sector can cause a loss of clients, but a strong logistics sector is a competitive advantage. And finally, the third significant element of the project is its focus on training the for workforce. We are all aware of the immense challenge of uh, unemployment in our countries and the need to create the decent work opportunities. And developing skills for the sectors of future growth is an integral part of a strategy for competitiveness. In this context, I'm glad that under the European Union contribution to the project, 300 professionals will be able to have their respective skills certified and recognized on the labor market, favoring their long-term employability. Furthermore, the project will provide direct training to 500 logistic employees to upgrade their skills. To ensure sustainability, there will also be a component focused on training trainers, approximately 50 of them, who will then be able to pass on their knowledge in a structured way. One last point on this project. It is a partnership uh, between various uh, international institutions, uh, notably the World Bank, the European Investment Bank, the Union for Mediterranean, the European Commission, and the countries of the region. As such, I hope that uh, it will serve as a great example of successful cooperation between our institutions. <laughs>